everyone, Mogorama here, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. So, last time we played this game, we went through all these like, little obstacles, we didn't listen to that narrator guy, fell through a floor, went into Aperture somehow in Minecraft, and now we've ended up back in our office. So, uh, let's see what's different this time. All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stanley decided to go so, to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a Apparently memory. the game has started again. So, I'm gonna go like that. When two Stanley doors. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I so last time one on the right and I kept going through that door. Screw it, I'm just gonna go to the left door this time. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided Do to do unbelievably to his amazing office, work. Hoping he might find an answer there. Let it ball up inside you, take it out passive aggressively on other co-workers. Present co-workers for not supporting you more. Okay. Whoa, I can actually go in here. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I don't believe him. I reckon there's something there. No, there's got to be something here. I don't there believe him. nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I don't trust you. I reckon there's a reason for me to be here. You're lying to me. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. Shut up, let me do what I want. To interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. No, there's got to be something here. I don't trust him. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Yes. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Because I enjoy it, and it's going against what you want, so... You do realise there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Well, guess what? I'm here, and I like it. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. That, that was beautiful. The broom closet ending? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, well what is your problem? A conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you and I'm here. Step out into the hallway. Ah, second player. You too? <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story. Alright, 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 alright. 
Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I didn't like the way that looked. Nope, upstairs it is. You convinced me, Mr. Narrator Man. Upstairs is where I'm best to be going. Hello. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Well, how am I supposed two, to guess it? Eight, four, four, five. Two. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing oh my God, random it works. buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. <laughs> That's he stepped great. into the newly opened passageway. Okay, this game's getting creepier and creepier. Like, I'm, I'm starting to bit, get, get a bit concerned. <laughs> there are some great Stepping bits, though. Into the building, Stanley realised he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. That's a bit creepy. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ooh. Do I want to escape? Or mind control? Escape. Mind control. I really don't know what to do. You, who would write an, a sign saying escape? No, I don't trust it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did That's he exactly have the what I thought. To find out. Yes. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Whoa. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley. One of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I'm so curious to what all this is. Like, I'm so curious. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Well, we better find out. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all.
But is that what I want to do, or do I want to mind control people? Ooh. I want to press the big red button. Well, there's actually no other choices for me to make, so... Alright. I literally couldn't make any other choice, so... And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Oh, you God. are supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious three. moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? Hang on. Right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. One. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the Two. story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, Three. I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and Four. take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure uh, I'm going to go to five. If nothing happens, I'll turn it off. Will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Yep. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it on? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? Three. That this video game can be beaten? One, solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place come is? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made... I have no idea what to do. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. 
Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you I don't know what to do. Another choice? Make it come. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will oh, no. not a second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the Goodbye. moment I say happily ever up. Is that the, the actual uh, end or? No. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, right. this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps I'm he would have stopped by the employee it. lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, sorry. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Well, Good job, Stanley. Shit. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I just want to see if I can escape. <sighs> All right. Um. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. We'll go through very quickly. Mr. Memo. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blast through it. I'm going to just follow his instructions and see what happens. When Stanley came to a set of two open yep. doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm literally just gonna do what he wants me to do. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calm <sighs> new age music. Just hurry up. Oh my god, just hurry up. Are you kidding me? Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Alright, let's go, let's go. Gotta do this quick, quick. I just wanna get through this as quickly as possible. <laughs> Alright. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yep. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Why can't I jump? I just want to jump. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 
This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Right, Had he truly spent done. his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yep. But here was the proof. Cool. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled yep. with emotions. Yep. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very All right, place. so and as we're the just going to turn it off. Of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this much blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes, he had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Ooh, I don't know. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. It's not a door, is it? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. I'm not convinced. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Not convinced. And Stanley was happy. What the hell? Wait, let's just see what he says. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Okay. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I... All right, I'm going to stop it there. Stopping it there. So, that was really, really cool. Um, I did really enjoy it. So, it's really cool that we finished the game in two parts. Like, I really did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I do want to go back and see if I can get different endings. Possibly even find out how to beat that nuclear bomb. Even go down that path or instead of escape here. Because, um, I even, like, even just finding, um where the staff is like just to see where all the staff have gone that would be very interesting i think because something tells me there's so many endings and that if you just follow the guy's instructions that's just like the simplest ending possible so i'm definitely going to go back and look at this um one of the reasons why i'm playing this is on my tiktok i said um i'll put up a trailer for super emule or something i don't know how to pronounce it, it comes out in a couple of days and heaps of people commenting going, oh, this is like the Stanley Parable. This is like the Stanley Parable. I'm like, what the hell is that game? And then I looked it up and I seen this. I'm like, okay, I've got to play that. It looks awesome. And you know what? It is awesome. So we're really looking forward to playing this game again, getting a different ending and um, seeing how that goes. Anyways, guys, thank you again for stopping past and checking out my video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.